Gary, a disappointing afternoon. Did you just find Derby in a very ruthless mood today? I think they were, yeah. I don't think um, the grand scheme of things, particularly this, the first 20 minutes of the second half, I don't think we deserved to be on the end of a 4-0 beating. Um, but we've seen how those games go. You know, We had a similar one against Reading where Reading didn't do, play too badly and we ended up winning 6-1. So um, I think the key for us is to have a little bit of balance about the view. Uh, we didn't play well enough today. I felt we gave Derby far too much respect. Although I have to say that I think they were probably the best team that have come here, the best team we've played so far, and the way they moved the ball, the way they caused you a problem with the front, the front, um, the front players. I thought they were very, very good. But their finishing was clinical. You know, you saw it towards the end that when you're chasing the game, we had to gamble at half time and try and come out and press a little bit higher up the pitch. You know, you're going to leave space, and, and they scored against the run of play really second half, and it more or less killed the game off. And that is the difference when you're playing the teams at the top, they, and even the half chances they're presented, they more than often sit them away. Well, they do. And again, sometimes the difference in these games is, is the finishing, and it's the clinical nature of the way that people finish the game off. And I think the good thing with someone like a Derby, and again, like I said, we've done it previously, is that the more a team has to chase to, 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 to get back in the game, the more space it leaves. Um, I just felt later on in the game, the conditions were were horrendous second half and you know we bring Ziggy on and we hit him a couple of times on the angle and he caused one or two problems and then we stopped hitting him really and, and just started you know putting aimless balls up to him rather than a little bit of quality on the angle so that he can nod things down the wares and that's why we changed it so uh, I was a little bit disappointed in one or two um, of the way we we tried to chase the game but I, I think you know I think we had a response at half time which is all you ask the players we're a little bit unfortunate we could have had a penalty at 2-0 down I think we had a chance at 2-0 down which would have maybe changed the complexion of the game but I think on the day that the, the quality and the level of the finishing was was the difference as you mentioned they did come back into it in the second and it was the third goal that really did seem to kill the game well, it does. I mean, it's going to, isn't it? Um, you know, you look at those little margins and at two 0 up, the game's still very much alive. You know, if you can if you can nick one, no matter what point of the game, even if it's in the 80th minute, you know that this is still a game and you're going to get a little bit of pressure in the crowd or lift. I think the third goal, as I said, against the run of play, really just kills us off. Um, and we gamely still chase the game and we gamely still try to have a go. Um, but I just think that was a difference. And then they score a fourth when we're chasing further. Maybe at that point you can look and say we should probably just shut up shop and protect our goals against Colm. Um, but I think the team have been brave. We've always tried to be brave. and We're going to win some games and some games we're going to get picked off. Um, and I thought Derby did that really well today. You won't have much time to reflect because in two days' time you head to Nottingham Forest. Yeah, I think we, you know these two games are always going to be difficult in, in as much as they're two very tough games um, and also you know the turnaround in terms of the time. So, But it's the same for Forest. They've had to travel all the way up to Middlesbrough and come back, so they're going to be no better prepared for us. I think the difference for us is we probably haven't quite got the depth of squad that will allow us to make that many changes. But it's up to us to recover. Get, um, you know, to, to have a little look at one or two things we didn't do as well today. And I just felt we lost our shape a little bit at times. Uh, and maybe going away from home, that might be easier to, to, to maintain that.